Last Sunday, Jan Burrell and I recorded an interview for my Beyond the Books podcast. When Jan was speaking about where she was from, in spite of her remarkable recovery from a severe hemorrhagic stroke, she couldn't remember the word capital. I filled in the word for her, and thus was born Sophia of the Bright Sneakers, Volume 3. Mission 3 is Search Through Time. Here is an excerpt from a cut of part of the podcast about investigating where the enslaved twins, Jeb and Liza's father, Elijah Kingman Jr. had come from. His father, Elijah Kingman Sr., had served in the American Revolution in the Fishkill Supply Depot as a printer's apprentice and was freed for his service. He made his way on foot into New York City and ended up working in the notorious Five Points area. Here, Eliza Jr. grew up and sought work on the dots, eventually leading up to his navigating up and down the Hudson River as a seaman. I grew up 90 miles from New York City, so we were down there quite often. Mm. So it, it was something. And I did grow up in a large city. Not as big as Poughkeepsie, but Kingston was originally the first, um, the, oh shoot, the first capital, wasn't it? Yes, capital of New York State, right? Yeah, I know that because I did, um, uh, geez, which book was it I was working on? I did a lot of, oh yes, I did a lot of background in my second book that'll be coming out in February, hopefully, if I ever get it finished because I keep getting interrupted with everything else, like marketing and all those fun things. Yeah. Uh, uh, but any, anyway, no, I learned about that because my two enslaved kids' father came from that area of New York. His father brought him to New York City as a free slave, and they lived in the Five Points area, which is not in the book. It was just the background that I got to like one sentence out of. But I'm I'm a history buff, and it, it was very interesting because I was reading about uh, slavery, and sometimes the slaves in New York State, which had a lot of slaves, especially up on that uh, the Maritime, on the Hudson River, because that's where the main thoroughfare was out to the ocean, and they said that often sometimes that sometimes they were really treated worse because instead of having quarters which would at least have a stove in it and not being in an extremely cold area that these people often would just be sleeping in basically what was a cellar with no clothes and really crowded in and you know not being I'm, it's hard to say that something is worse but the north always proud it, uh, prided itself on not being as bad as the south which is actually not the truth if you go do the research. But that's how come I knew that. <laughs> and thus was born a new idea for Mission 3, A Search Through Time. Jeb and Liza, Johns Kingman, with their newly adopted parents, take a trip to the Hudson Valley to discover the steps their grandfather walked to establish his life as a free Black man in the Five Points area of New York City following the American Revolution. As Jeb and Liza follow his steps through history, flashbacks in time portray Elijah Jr. and Sr.'s life up until the time Elijah Jr. becomes Jeb and Liza's father. As one circle ends, a new circle of life is formed. <laughs>